What's up guys, I'm Chris and today you're watching The Needle Project by Rocco Colt. All right, so today we are looking at The Needle Project by Rocco Cult, which you just saw one of the uh, methods, performances. Um, anyway, there's, there's a number of different things that he's included here. So what is it? Uh, well, in short, it is a way to push a needle into your eye or your tongue, your hand, wherever you want, into anything, and then bring it back out. So it's super visual. Going in is super visual, coming out is super visual. And I think he's come up with something here that looks extremely believable. It looks very real, it looks really good. So what you're gonna get is, uh, it's it's a video link tutorial. Um, it's in six parts. So the first effect is being able to push the needle. We'll just, we'll say we're doing it with our eye, even though you can do it with anything and anywhere. Um, so we'll say we're doing it with with the eye because I think that's the uh, gonna get you the best shock or reactions. But so the first method allows you to visually push the needle into the eye. Uh, the convincer for me, which uh, when I saw Rocco perform this, the part where I was like, "What?" is he pushes it in and then he opens his hand, right? So opens his hand obviously your hands open you can't be holding the needle anywhere so he's going to show you that method which in and then back out and and it coming out looks amazing so um, that was another one where I was just like how is he doing that anyway so he'll show you how to build that gimmick now you probably already have everything that you need if not um it might cost you a couple bucks. Okay, so uh, super cheap. Once you make it, you won't need to make it again. And then the second part of the tutorial, he's going to show you how to do a complete vanish. So with that, if you want to push the needle in and not bring it back out, show your hands anything completely empty and open uh, that's the method that you'll want to go with there I've also seen Rocco combine methods so he just recently posted a video where he I forget where he put the needle if it was in his hand or, or no it was in his mouth and his tongue and then he swallowed uh, thread pulled the thread out and the needle was attached and then he also did the the eye so that's combining methods there and then the last set of videos, he's going to go over a ungimmicked method that uses uh, just, well, regular needles, uh, not altered or gimmicked in any way. Uh, that one, I can't show you a performance for because I haven't learned that one yet. Um, I haven't practiced it. So with that one, it obviously takes more practice, right? No gimmicks. Um, and there is the potential to somewhat hurt yourself um, like it's not gonna be bad but uh, it's a needle so just look at it that way it's a needle it's sharp it's ungimmicked um, if you poke yourself with a needle it's gonna hurt a little bit so that's all I mean by that but with that said it allows you to borrow a needle and do this so maybe that's the route that you want to take so what's the quality? Um, the tutorial's good. It's well shot. It's just basically Rocco uh, when he's showing you how to use the or to make the gimmick. It's an overhead view. Um, everything's really easy to to follow along to. Tutorial's well taught. Difficulty level. So for the uh, in and out with the gimmick, as well as the complete vanish, the difficulty level is. A beginner could do this, right? Once you learn the secret, uh, it's super easy to do. Doesn't really take any practice, but obviously practice. Um, you want to go over, you know, presentation more than anything. 
And then the Ungaming version, like I said, haven't uh, got that one down yet. It, it looks like it's easy to do, but I wanted to get the review out. So um, the main things that I was focusing on anyway was the uh, the gimmicked version because I think that's really, in all honesty, the one that I'll be doing because I like being able to push in and pull out visually. I think that uh, it looks really good. Angles. So angles are extremely good, right? Basically, as long as your audience is in front of you and not behind you, um, I think for the most part, it's it's they can be quite a ways to your side. Um, there's obviously there's ways that you could do this too. I believe to where you could be surrounded, but. You know, it's just different uh, handling with your hands, right? Um, without saying too much. But you wouldn't want to perform this surrounded because it's a visual piece, right? If people aren't looking directly at you, they're not going to see the effect. And that's kind of the purpose of this setup and reset. So there, well, I guess with the, the complete vanish, there's a very, very quick setup. Uh, reset is instant. And then for the first method where you can push in and pull out uh, the setup a second you know you just got to get it ready and into position and then reset is also instant so is this ready to use or are there some arts and crafts well I believe that uh, in the tutorial Rocco said he is making these for purchase so that you can he can sell them as a physical product however the if you're just buying the uh, tutorial, then you'll have to make it yourself. Again, uh, very, very, very simple to make, and construction is probably a couple minutes. Doesn't take long. One thing I should mention is that if you construct this properly, um, it's completely safe. There's no way for the needle to actually puncture you or injure you. Um, so anybody who thinks, yeah, I'm not putting a needle by my eye, it's completely safe. Just follow along, do as Rocco says, uh, do it properly, and yeah, there's, there's no risk of harm. Can it be inspected? So with the complete vanish, there's nothing to examine because it's gone, right? Um, with the gimmicked method there, yeah, I'd say that it can be examined, uh, basically... You can, you can hand out the needle before and after if you want. Um, I don't think there's any point in handing it out before, right? You can show them the needle. Once you've pulled it back out, you can give them the needle just if they want to. Pocket space. So, pocket space, um, it's a needle, right? Uh, now, how are you going to carry a needle without losing it? Um, Rocco recommends a Altoids Smalls tin, which is where I'm storing mine. If you're really wanting to conserve pocket space, this does take up a little bit, whereas a needle doesn't. So if you have another way of carrying this, then yeah, it'll take up less pocket space. But I like this because it's contained you're not going to lose it anywhere it's always ready you know where it is and then i also uh, put some refills of stuff on the top now rocco did mention that i could say what i use here because it doesn't really tip the method um, so <clears throat> in the video in the tutorial rocco uses carpet tape so there is some sticky stuff, right? Uh, Rocco uses carpet tape, which may be the route that you guys want to go because it does last longer than what I use. Rocco, I think he said that he's been using the same piece of carpet tape for weeks. Uh, so that lasts a lot longer than what I'm using. Um, however, you do need to cut the carpet tape to size. It can take a little bit longer. Whereas what I use are zots the small the small uh the small size and all i did was i put them on the top here so they're always ready 
right? Uh, they're already the perfect size, if you're using the small ones, already the perfect size. So if you need to replace the sticky stuff, um, this is the method that I've found will be the quickest, but you'll have to do it more. So uh, just wanted to mention it. That's the route that I've been taking. But I'm sure that there are plenty of options out there if you don't want to go this route. Like I said, Rocco uses the carpet tape, which is basically a double-sided tape that uh, is obviously just a lot more sticky because it's used on carpet. Is this a worker and who would use this? So this is perfect for if you're doing walk-around strolling. Um, Rocco, he said he's used it uh, in both magic sets and mentalism sets. I don't know well, exactly how he performs it in his mentalism sets, but, you know, it's not limited to just magicians. Uh, with that said, it's extremely visual. It's very quick. So if you want to get somebody's attention quick and you want a good reaction, then this is perfect. Uh, so is this a worker? If you're doing this strolling... Um, people all around are going to hear the gasps and reactions and want to know what you're doing. So I would say in that aspect, it's definitely a worker. So finally, what's the price and is it worth your money? So this is $40. Um, I think right now the only way to purchase this is directly through Rocco. He's not distributing it through um, any other companies as far as I know. I think this is just direct through him. So you'll want to get a hold of him on Facebook. You can send him a message and he will hook you up with the download. I believe there will also be a website where you can purchase this. I don't know if that's uh, up and running at this time. So before I upload the video, I'm going to get in touch with Rocco and see. Uh, if there is a website, then I'll leave the link in the description below. But as far as I know right now, I just reach out to him. And then finally, pros and cons, positives, negatives. Uh, the pros are that it's a well-made gimmick. It's extremely, extremely deceptive. Uh, you can show your, this is all very clean, right? Um, it doesn't look like you're hiding anything. It doesn't look like you're concealing anything. You can be very open with this. And just the visual aspect, it blew me away. Negatives, uh, maybe with the ungimmick version, you have the potential of pricking your hand. But aside from that, I, I really couldn't come up with any negatives for this. Uh, if you're using the gimmick version, completely safe. So with that, I'm, just do that version. If you want to play it safe, I also think that's the most visual version to do anyway. So that's the one that I'm going to do. So yeah, it's it's a great, great project. I think that it's well worth the $40. So if you perform shock magic or not, uh, this is definitely something to get right now for the holiday or the Halloween season, right? You can purchase this and have it made within probably 20 minutes. It doesn't take that long to make, but you're going to have to watch how to make it and, and use it and stuff. So um, it's not too late if you want to perform this for Halloween, but I, I think it's good all year. Right, uh, gonna get great reactions. So with that, I think that's everything that I have to say on the Needle Project by Rocco Cult. Definitely recommend it. Go check it out. Anyway, with that said, we'll see you at the next review.